Keeping an eye on the economy, now on ABC 27 News at 11, the stock market bounces back after a big announcement designed to curb inflation today. Check out this chart. It shows how the market went up and down throughout the day. Take a look at this. It dipped into the red after the Fed announced they were going to be increasing interest rates by a quarter point, but then made a rebound by the end of the day when they said the economy is very strong. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Channing Frampton. So, what does this mean for us? Well, new at 11, ABC 27's Alexa Trishler joins us from Tallahassee with an explanation and the effect it's having on people like you. Financial experts tell me this will put us on the slow road to stability, but that road could get bumpy along the way for hardworking Americans. I'm going to owe even more, and I'm going to keep owing more, and if I don't pay this off quicker, I'm going to be in, in so much debt. Joel lives in Tallahassee and says at one point he had over $10,000 in debt. Thoughts of rising interest rates it would make me like panic. Tuesday, the Federal Reserve increased interest rates by a quarter of a percent, putting target interest rates in the quarter to half a percent range. The reason? We need to slow down inflation. Dr. Tom Smythe is a finance professor at Florida Gulf Coast University. He says credit card interest rates will see the biggest jump right away. It's not going to hit the the mortgage and the auto loan market hard right now, it'll have more of an impact, say, by the end of the year uh, after uh, a number uh, a number of uh, rate hikes occur. Student loan rates will also be targeted over the long term. Luckily, if you already have one of these big ticket items, chances are your rates are already locked in and won't change. But what they're doing now is doing nothing to uh, make people think the inflation rate is going to be lower in the future. Dr. James Gwartney is an economics professor at Florida State University. He says the Fed should aim to raise interest rates even more, something Smythe agrees with, but both warn it comes at a risk of unsettling the market. We simply may not have a choice uh, depending on how inflation continues to progress. Uh, in the next two to three months. Leaving people like Joel to make some tough choices going ahead. I feel stuck and I feel I feel lost. The Fed is expected to raise interest rates to 1.9 percent by the end of 2022. However, the Russia and Ukraine situation could play a big part in potentially affecting those interest rates in the coming months. In Tallahassee, Alexa Trishler, ABC 27. A lot to keep track of. Thank you, Alexa. And for people investing in savings accounts, the interest rate hikes will actually be a good thing as return rates will likely go up over the months to come.